This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2003 Chevy Silverado, half ton, 1500. It's uh, an extra cab, short bed. It's a 5.3 liter V8. It's four wheel drive. It's a Z71 package, uh, LS, which is cloth. Has 123,494 miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company. Um, and we bought it in El Paso. It uh, is on a clear title, okay? Um, we bring them here, we do an inspection, this is what it looks like, okay? My guys hand me this. 5.3 LS extra cab Z71 4x4 sweet truck. What did we do to it? Brand new wheels and tires, they were all stolen, it was on a bunch of spares, so it's got brand new wheels and tires from Discount Tires. Both side mirrors are new. Driver's uh, master window switch is new. Two O2 sensors are new. Uh, battery is new. Both rear door jam handles, the, the handles that go inside the door hand, uh, inside the door jam, to open and close them are new. The cluster is new. The usual GM cluster. Gas gauge was in op. Um, Google that. That's kind of normal. Um, anyway, I'm going to walk around this truck. Um, we get a lot of people who ask us for trucks under $10,000. It's not as easy as you think, especially uh, a nice truck. And uh, this is a pretty nice truck. It's not perfect. It's got a few little cosmetic things that I'll point at. Uh, in that uh, photo gallery of ours, my brother's going to take 60 to 80 HD pictures. In that gallery, you'll see a little magnifying glass icon that you can drag over any photo and zoom in um, on anything you want to see. Um, sort of like got this little scratch kind of right here you can zoom in on that um, whatever you want to see you can see there are no excuses for missing cosmetics because it's literally like having your face up against the truck using that magnifying glass and going through the photo gallery um, obviously I don't think anyone's buying an 03 truck for cosmetics but uh, I'll try to point at everything I see so that you'll know what to look for in the photo gallery um, but it is your responsibility to actually look at the photos and and check it out. Okay um, We don't need to sell vehicles. We need to sell vehicles to the right people It's very easy for us to sell vehicles the way brick-and-mortar uh, places do when they uh, BS people and they have to sell them to the only person who hops in that vehicle all day long um, What's the trick is for us is to make sure that the person who buys this thing in Michigan and ships it out there gets what they thought they were buying. Um, and to do that, you have to make sure that you point at stuff like this, you know, and that uh, people know what they're getting. That way they're not upset, all right? Um, obviously, it's the bedside of the truck, and they're always a little bit, a little bit of dirt got up inside this uh, tail light. They're like 45 bucks a piece if you want to replace them. They work fine, but dings around the door uh, around the lift gate handle for the money and for the truck um, you're getting a lot of truck here so you know just do your due diligence go through the photos it's interesting how both taillights have that in a second it will uh I'll start the truck up, we'll go under the hood, and then I'll uh, walk around. I will show you the Kelly Blue Book, the Carfax. Like I said, everything we know about the truck, you will know. I'll even show you the title we got from the insurance company, okay? There's a little thing right here, and a little kind of really light in the clear coat right here. Um, a couple little scratches right there. Um, but, 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 let me fire this guy up right now. the air down let's see let's get the 123,487 miles all right there we go all right there you go Not much to look at. Nice, quiet. There's uh, a new battery over here. Nice, quiet uh, 5.3. Sticker for the 5.3, right?
That's that. Kind of boring. Boring is good. I like boring. Boring means nothing's wrong. All right, here's the Kelly Blue Book on the truck. 03 extended cab LS, six and a half foot bed. 123,494 miles. Typical listing price for this truck would be 10,552 with a range of 8,500 to 11.4. Okay? Here's the Carfax. Boom. There's the VIN. They say, uh, with the history of events affecting this vehicle, uh, it's worth about $9,920. I think that's low, but that's all right. I still want you to know what you're getting here. Um, 9920 here's the VIN for the truck right here no access no damage Carfax one owner 523 of 19 we did this Carfax yesterday so it's hot off the press El Paso boom El Paso let's see stolen 22909 and recovered 212 of 19. So it's probably got dust in the taillights because it probably sat in the desert for about 10 years, unfound. Um, anyway, uh, here's the Texas title. This is a, tech, a clear actual mile Texas title issued to the insurance company 423 of 19. There's the VIN, okay? And Fred Loya Insurance was the insurance company, okay? So now you've seen all the paperwork we have on it. It's got the little peeling stuff on the dash, which is very average, very common. Almost every Chevy, like 03 to 07 has it. I've got a Tahoe with the same problem. We're gonna put online pretty soon. These are the door handles we replaced on both sides. Seats look great. Oh yeah, window, door locks. All right, let's see, let's walk around this side. That's a new door handle also. Looks good. I always make sure I, people can see the bottom of the doors and stuff in case there's rust because that's where the rust always happens. Bottom of the doors. There's that. Tilt wheel. That looks fine. All right. Let's make sure nothing's going on down here. Um, I think that's about it there. Did the tilt wheel. Oh, mirrors out in these are brand new mirrors so they ought to be pretty quick and they are out in up and down all right let me hop in this bad boy oh the air is awesome get a seat belt on all right air i can assure you that it's blowing ice cold which is great they stole the radio they were nice enough to unplug it so you've got the plugs. Um, we don't replace radios anymore because inevitably whoever's gonna want this truck is gonna go to Best Buy or buy their own with Bluetooth and you know USB ports and they're not gonna want the old Chevy thing and we'll spend 50 bucks they'll end up on their garage floor. So buy your own, have Best Buy and saw for 50 bucks and you'll be good. Let's see, what else? We got a center console here. Bum, bum, bum. Let me see, I don't know if this thing opens or not. I guess not. Boom, boom, boom. Little box there to store stuff. You got cruise control here. Toe. There's toe on and off, on and off, right? All right, let me put it in neutral. Go to four low. Now we're in four low. And drive. Now that's definitely four low. That is granny gear. That's in drive and four low. Then we'll put it in reverse in four low. Boom, perfect. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Boom, there we go, a little quicker. That's four high in drive, 
for high in reverse now. Awesome. All right. Neutral. I go back to two wheel drive. And we're going to go for a ride. All right. Nice truck. Uh, it's hard to find these trucks under 10 grand. I'll tell you that much. We get maybe a couple a month. That's an opportunity to buy a couple a month and maybe we'll get one a month. This is probably good. Uh, let's see. So, if you come to Sun Drive at home, this is how it'll go financially. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, uh, plus our city of 2.7%, and you will pay a dock fee of $250. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Um, there will be no dock fee, there'll be no taxes, nothing. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan that into your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately, and then we'll mail it to you. We even scan in the uh, envelope that we mail it in, okay? So everything's up front, so you'll be able to see all the paperwork. You know, you've already seen the Carfax, the Kelly, the title, everything. Um, that's how we roll, okay? Um, you'll have the truck shipped to you. Um, obviously, you have the, the the title will get to you before the truck. Once the truck shows up, you'll just go to motor vehicles and get plates. It's very simple. Uh, deposit. Once we have agreed upon price, please get your deposit. And once we have your $500 deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and you and everyone else will know that it's yours. Until then, it will stay for sale. Okay. Um, this is going to go quickly. Whenever we have we the last truck under 10 grand we had 4x4 gas was a uh, V10 F250 and I thought it would be online forever because it was rough compared to this truck and it sold in 15 minutes for what we were asking like apparently they didn't want to take a chance of losing it so um, be quick with your deposit because someone else is probably looking at it right now um, last part of every video uh, I encourage you to watch the end of any video you find online uh, or in our ad for you know vehicles that we've sold deposits on or still for sale um, the last two or three minutes I'll say this we don't have salesmen we don't have bottled water with our name we don't have a latte machine we don't have scones we don't have a massage chair we don't have video games in our office um, and we don't add money to the price of the truck uh, to pay for future repairs why we don't have any of that stuff to save you money because we're not trying to squeeze every dime out of every every truck. We're not trying to make as much money as anyone else could on this truck, uh, price-wise, um, so that there's money left in it for you. And because we are not going to fix this truck after you own it. So the day you own it, you're the owner. If that doesn't work for you, that's fine. Just know that when you own it, we're not gonna write you a check for anything, for a part or for labor or anything. We give you all this information so you can make a good decision and you can become the owner. We are not Nostradamus. We do not know when something's going to break. If we did, there wouldn't be vehicles that you never see online that I bought that aren't good enough to go online, okay? <laughs> no one's throwing a pity party for me and the cars that I bought that sucked, all right? <laughs> nobody's writing me a check, okay? And nobody's giving me this inform much information when I buy, okay? Um, you're getting tons of information so that you can be the owner. Okay, um, if that doesn't work for you, no hard feelings. We have people who, you know, see all of our vehicles regularly, and we have a guy Kyle Kennedy in uh, in uh, California that is absolutely the best customer we've ever had. Understands exactly how it works, um, and uh, is fine with it. You know, um, he realizes that this truck is going to break eventually, and if it's the day he buys it, then he's going to have to fix it. And that's what we want you to know. Um, that being said, I would get in this thing and drive this to Alaska right now and it'd be fine. I think that's about it. Other than needing a radio, you know, there's your plug and your antenna plug. Um, that's it. Thank you for your time.